Welcome back, it is Thursday and that means acting analysis for animators and today we're gonna to take a look at the last part of Take Shelter. All right, this one's gonna be short and sweet. It's the last sequence I wanna talk about and it's towards the end. It's, I won't say it's a spoiler, but it gets towards the end. I'm not spoiling the big reveal, but it's a big emotional moment and it's very, very short clips. Let's get straight into this so you can see it. And this is the end confrontation between his friends and the main character and with all the shenanigans that happens, uh, he is not happy and they have a bit of a fallout. I'm not gonna play the whole thing because it's really long. I'm gonna have a link in the description so you can watch the whole thing with sound, it's very intense. But there are some interesting moments as he freaks out. And the thing is, throughout the whole movie, he's very tall, very imposing, but very quiet, very sensitive. And this is the moment where he freaks out. So I'm actually gonna go back and do this here. They have the little scuffle here. And he finally had enough, kicks him in the knee. It's a crazy sound effect there. And then he goes, ah, oh, that's enough. And that's his daughter. And they're all freaking out. And according to the commentary, I, as much as I can remember, I think they did two takes and most of those people don't know what's going on. So all those crazy facial takes and reactions of people being shocked, they're apparently all real. I need to listen to the commentary again so I don't say anything that's not true. But as you watch this, there are some great expressions. But anyway, again, you can watch this whole thing. He freaks out and he's got those crazy, as an animator, look at those blend shapes, nerd. You will dial in here. But he goes on and on and says, yeah, no one's gonna be safe. Look at this. Sorry, I have to kind of play this anyway. Look at this, Arr! look at that anger. This is a shape that's always kind of missing in animation there. Look at that. Arr! So that's when I don't have enough chocolate. I want my chocolate. But anyway, he goes on and on and on and freaks out. And the thing that I wanna show you is this moment. It's when he's actually done saying what he wanted to say, been weighing on him. He turns around and has this change. It's a break in his emotion, it's a break in his composure. He sees that he absolutely scared his daughter. So after this crazy rage, you can see that breakdown. It gives me goosebumps, it's so good. As a parent, it's horrible to watch. And even at this point, she understands something's really wrong with him, but she doesn't yell at him. She's like, ah, she actually supports him. It's, a, it's a, again, an interesting relationship in that movie. And I like how they're sticking together, but without her rolling over, she always holds him accountable, but she's there for him and it's great. And then look at that gentle giant. He has to go down and he needs her. And then as the exit and even the little daughter, I think they pull her in. It's not like she goes on her own. Oh, she, maybe she does, not quite. Yeah, 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 that type of thing. <laughs> oh, poor thing, ew. But anyway, so why am I showing you this? It's this moment through here. After all of this, he realizes, oh no, what have I done? And it's a much more dramatic take on something where you say something, you realize, oh, what did I just do? And if you watch the Barry that I did last time, you can see that when he flips him off, he has the moment of, oh, did I do this? And then he continues on, he wants to stay within, you know, the plan and the direction that he's going towards his partner. But something, and it's tricky because you have this length of this movie where you see this character and it's, he's quiet and he struggles and at the end he has this big blowout and it's very effective in the movie with that contrast of constantly having that more quiet character and then that big explosion. Tricky in the shot, if you just do one shot for your demo reel, it's gonna be, or just a shot in general, it's gonna be more of like a surprise moment and not this long out, drawn out character moment that suddenly has this big reveal, this big change that like, surprises the audience. So I understand it's different. But it's something, at least to me, interesting where you can have your character do something, say something, interact with something, and this could be with a very heavy emotion, and then turn around and then a change. It's like your gear change assignment again, but it could be because of something he realized or she realized that he or she did, or seeing someone else react to what that character just did, and then going, oh, what did I just do? And then you can have a reaction. This could be from crazy angry to I'm just ridiculous being this angry and then a laugh, right? So you can have all completely different emotions and it doesn't have to be like this. But I thought, but as, an, as an acting thing, it was really cool to see and it's just, I love that movie. But it's something again that you could take when you think about an assignment and maybe you're in class and the classic assignment is do a gear change. And by the way, I leaned forward here and the chair was quiet because I have a new chair. But anyway, so your assignment is a gear change and then you can think about, well, what could I do instead of, um, you know, maybe it's sometimes you combine it with the what's in the box type of assignment where you open it up and go, oh, what's this? But maybe you can push that and make a list of a 
surprise where it's like, oh, I'm surprised about this and more of an emotional take of I did something and I realized, oh no, this wasn't good. So you have a bit more of a, a gradual gear change. It's not just this, oh, I'm shocked and that's the change. It's more, I'm in a certain space and a, and a head, you know, like a state of mind. And then I realized, oh wait, this is not good. But you show that thought process because it's always interesting and important to show that your character is alive and thinking. So having to go from one emotion to thinking about what did I just do and then realizing, oh man, and then that end reaction is then a new emotion. But seeing that long process and that thought process, I think is really cool. And there you go, like I said, short and sweet. That's all I wanted to say. I could talk a lot more about this movie, but watch it if you haven't yet. I'm curious what you think. I need to watch the whole thing, so maybe I see new things and I might add another part. But for now, this is the end of my Take Shelter series. There could be more in the future. You never know, but I'm gonna definitely watch it again. But that's it. So this is short. I hope you're still watching this. And if you are, thank you again. And the usual, you know it is like, subscribe, hit that bell button for all the updates, the classic thing. And I wanted to add, if you feel like all of this is helpful and you feel like those lectures are cool and you wanna apply this to your shop, but I need a bit more help, I do wanna plug my workshops, why not? I do have workshops, you can set up for these and I could take all of those examples and that, you know, that kind of knowledge and those, those theories that I like to apply there and I can apply that to your shots and help you get somewhere else with your shots if you so desire, if that's a word. So there you go. Link in the description for all my workshop links and the link description to this sequence with audio. So it's not copyrighted, it's in a different place. And that's it. So as always, thank you for watching.